Hello, this is Telly Andrews and welcome to Travel Daily's Travel Channel. Tiger Airways carried 576,000 passengers in March 2011, 18% more than the same month last year. The low-cost carrier is adding planes with sea capacity from its Singapore hub, expanding 41% year-on-year for the summer 2011 schedules. This entails increased frequencies to destinations such as Bangkok, Chennai, Hanoi, Ho Chi Minh City and Kuala Lumpur. Authorities in the southern Chinese island province of Hainan are planning to develop six uninhabited islands this year. The head of Hainan's Department of Ocean and Fisheries, Zhao Songxi, said that the islands would be developed as tourist sites. Environmental groups, however, have expressed concerns about the plan, saying that an influx of tourists would be detrimental to the local ecosystems. Meanwhile, Airbus is developing two new energy-efficient office buildings in Toulouse, France, which will accommodate 320 employees working on the A350XWB program. Opening in October, the new centres are expected to enhance energy efficiency with better insulated walls and flat roofs, along with consumption lights, zone lighting controlled by presence detectors, solar water heaters and sunshade systems. In other news, All Nippon Airways has released its passenger traffic results for the month of February, with international demand increasing 21.1% year-on-year. The airline's seat capacity expanded 32.2% in the month, causing average load factor to slip back to 72.2%. All fall of A8A's global regions experienced double-digit rise in traffic in February, led by routes to and from Asia and Oceania, which surged 39.4% year-on-year. Holiday Autos has called on the car hire industry to help it build a code of conduct after a YouGov study found that budget-conscious consumers are taking risks when booking car hire. Mystery shoppers found that half of car hire firms do not have a customer support center or a 24-hour point of contact. The car hire broker is now looking to work with other companies to standardize pricing, advertising and complaint response rates. And finally, in today's news, Tokyo is planning to bid for the 2020 Olympics, according to the city's newly re-elected governor, Shintaro Ishihara. If the bid is successful, the event would mark the triumphant completion of its recovery from this year's devastating earthquake and tsunami. Berlin, Busan, Cape Town, Doha, Rome and Istanbul are also planning to bid for the 2020 Games. And that's it for today. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you again tomorrow.